what, yeah, which can I interrupt yeah. you for just a sec? Sure. I, I just want to add one thing to the to Donald Trump's post-election yeah. analysis. Yeah. Which is, of course, the the fallback position always is on fraud. Right. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> that, that, that the Democrats stole the election. I mean, it's so cheeky for them to say fraud when you look at what happened in Georgia, where the Secretary of State yeah. was the candidate, and he closed polling places. I mean, they, I think it was 200 fewer polling places. There were 53,000 people who had registered that he would not certify because there was some little glitch in, 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 the, in the, of the registration form. Uh, and they shortened the um, early voting to just mm -hmm. a few days, right? I mean, doing everything they could to disenfranchise people and to make it harder for people in Georgia to vote. And the same kinds of things happen in Florida. So I was getting to, to me, the craziest thing that Donald Trump said last week is he accused the people of Florida of going in to vote and then going out to the car yeah. <laughs> and putting on a different shirt or a different hat and, uh, go and going back and voting again. Yeah. I was at the uh, Miami Book Festival yesterday, and there was a big room, about 500 people there. Uh, and I asked them, how many? Show of hands. <laughs> <laughs> how many of you did the quick change yeah. in your car? <laughs> right, right. No hands went up. So. Yeah. But, so I knew where you were going, yeah. but where did we go for, to 2020 if you want to finish that? Yeah.